Makita, teal blue or olive drab? Thanks to Acme Tools for sponsoring this video. They reached out to us and said, we've got a lot of exciting Makita tools in their new outdoor adventure line. Can we send you some? And we thought about it for a second and went, yes, please, please do. And here we go. So let's quit talking. We'll dive in, take a look at each of these. And you may be thinking, well, Tim, I think Makita is usually like a teal blue, teal green, whatever you call that. And you are correct. However, they're pushing this outdoor adventure line, which is now in the olive green, or I think some say olive drab, or the green drab, or army green, or however you want to say that. But you know what? Not all of them are in that color, but let's get started. So first up on the Makita Outdoor Adventure Series is the 18 volt LXT nine and a quarter inch fan. It will run on any LXT 18 volt battery. And we get three different power modes. Low is very quiet, by the way, uh, medium and high. You're gonna hear it a little more. And the cool thing about this fan is the fact that we can oscillate it as well. And it's gonna oscillate at 90 degrees. So 45 degrees one way and then the other. And also you can index it where you want to. So right now it's kind of doing an even oscillation as far as facing us. Uh, but if I wanted to change that, I could click it around and now it will only, to get, only go 90 degrees from there and then turn back. So again, you can index where you want the oscillating to happen from. And then of course you can turn that off if you want to as well. Now the other cool thing is we have uh, one, two, and four right here with a little clock that tells us basically we can set this to run for one hour, two hours, or four hours and then shut off. So you're camping, you wanna run the fan for a little white noise or just to cool off and you know later on it's gonna be cool and you're not gonna wake up, then you can go ahead and set that for an hour or two, let that run, blow on you, and then, uh, and then it will automatically shut off, saving that battery for later. You also get uh, 90 degrees up and then 40 to five degrees down. So you can blow that air down a little bit if you need to, or again, face that where you need it. And then obviously you can position that without oscillating it wherever you want to as well. You can get up to 16 hours of runtime on a five amp hour battery. And also included is a plug in adapter where you can plug this in on the back right here, plug that in the port and then plug it into a wall or to an outlet extension cord and run as long as you have power. You also have a hole here in the back where you can actually check the status of the battery or the charge of the battery. Price on this is $129 for the bare tool and you get a three year warranty. This is the Makita Bluetooth radio. They also have a, just a Bluetooth speaker, but this is the Bluetooth speaker and radio. It is the ADRM06. You'll see here on the back, I can flip this up, open this compartment here, and we have a nice waterproof seal back here in the back. First, we have an adapter that we can plug that in if we want to. We have AA batteries, and I can tell here it will run on their, their old post style 12 or 14.4 batteries, as well as their CXT platform of batteries. Or you can run the LXT 18 volt batteries as well. We also get a seal around here that's going to seal for dust and water intrusion. So you get a nice waterproof seal on that radio. Get a blue LED light on the LCD screen. Easy to read that. And we also get twin three and a half inch side firing speakers. So in other words, you have a speaker on either side, dispersing the sound out either side. And then we also have an antenna that we can direct 
in whatever way we need to to get the best reception because we do have this as a radio, not just a Bluetooth speaker, so we can connect to our mobile device. We can also connect to FM radio as well. And here in the battery compartment, uh, we have a little door right here, and that's where our AA batteries are going to go. And that's going to help store any presets that we have in here after we set up our radio and set the presets on here. So even if we don't have a battery in there, those AA batteries will keep all those presets in store. Here on the front, we have an auxiliary in, as well as over here, we have a USB type A port out. So you can charge off of this as well as use the aux in for, uh, for connecting manually to your phone, or you can go through Bluetooth. You will get up to 28 hours of runtime on a five amp hour battery and 11 hours of runtime on a two amp hour battery. And price on this is $169 and you get a three year warranty. Now powering all these great tools are the 18 volt LXT battery. And you can buy these in a starter pack for the outdoor adventure system. And it comes with the four amp hour battery and the Makita DC 18 RC charger. Now, if you know anything about Makita, they are very keen on charging batteries and building chargers the right way, meaning uh, they're going to cool their batteries when they're charging. So they're not going to superheat or overheat their batteries uh, when you're charging them. In fact, when you put them on the charger, you will get a series of beeps as well as illuminations here that show you the status. So when I put this battery on, it's doing a check as well as if you have this close, you can hear a fan running in here because the fan is running to keep the battery cool as well as to keep the components cool in the charger. And you can see here, I have a solid green light. Uh, it's not flashing. So we have a charged battery. And indeed that is the case. This is already fully charged, but you'll see here in the charger, you have some ports right here, kind of a grate on there or a screen. We have some ports right here in the battery. And when you slide this on, those line up and actually circulates air through the battery and through the charger, keeping everything cool while it's charging the battery. So it's not overheating the cells or overheating the pack when it's doing so. Now this combo pack right here will be $185 for the four amp hour battery and the charger, and they're covered under a three year warranty. Now this is a pretty cool one right here. This is their coffee pot. And in fact, I'd already had this unit and it works very well. So included in this, you also get a cup the nice Makita stainless cup with the lid on it. Slide out here. Screen for your coffee grind so you don't have to have a little coffee filter. That screen's going to act as your filter so it's reusable. So you fill on your fill it with your favorite coffee, slide it in. Open up the door, pull out the container of water. Fill that up, put that back in. And over here, this is where, again, we can run a CXT battery and it's labeled right there. Or we can run an LXT 18 volt battery. Very simple operation, basically turn it on and it will go, once it senses water in there, it will start percolating and actually create your coffee. I will tell you that heating an element and heating water does not just take a little bit of energy, it takes quite a bit. Uh, so you will go through some batteries if you're making a lot of cups of these. But a really cool unit, very compact, uh, very cool that it comes you know, with the cup, uh, that you can reuse the, the coffee strainer in there. 
So really cool little unit that again runs on either the CXT or the LXT 18 volt platform. In fact, Makita claims that it will make three cups of coffee on a five amp hour battery. And the price on this is $129 for the bare tool as you see it without the batteries and you get a three year warranty. Now this is one here that I really, really like, even though I've never used it, kind of, sort of. This is the ADCU10, and this is their 12 inch top handle chainsaw kit. You actually, you can get this in a kit that comes with the charger and the four amp hour battery and the bar and chain. Organ chain, bucking spikes, and the Makita bar. So you get a 12 inch bar, 12 inch chain. You can also run this with other eight or 10 inch bars as well. You even get a handy carrying bag for it. Uh, you get automatic oiler, but you can also adjust how much oiling you want to be done. So if you feel like you're not getting enough lubrication on the bar and chain, you can turn this uh, counterclockwise to provide more oil or shut it down a little bit going clockwise to give less oil. I really love this chainsaw. I'll tell you why. Here's its cousin right here, the XCU06 that I've been using for years and it's a great little saw. The top handle chainsaw is probably my favorite. A top handle is my favorite for carrying around and cutting small limbs. So cutting your four and even six inch limbs and smaller. Uh, this is a perfect saw for doing that. It's very handy. However, you do have to be extremely careful because it feels almost like a extension of your hand. So you have to be careful not to put that other hand out there in the blade area and make sure you've got it on the handle and also using that chain break when you have the tool off. Now it's a very quick saw and, and when I say very quick it's not the most powerful in the world but it's not meant to be it is a top handle small chainsaw that's supposed to be equivalent to like a 22 cc gas but it ramps up very quickly so you're going to turn the power on here then you have to depress this pull the trigger and it's going to very quickly come up to speed now we'll fast forward through this as we install the blade here So we have a single bar retaining nut, but I do like the fact that it's actually a stud and nut that's retaining that bar, even though it's just a single on a small top handle chainsaw like this, that doesn't bother me on a larger chainsaw. I like to see a double stud, but that's okay. It will be fine here. I like the fact that I have a stud and nut there and not some self tightening thing. I really don't like those. And with the stud still a little bit loose, now we can set the tension on the blade. Make sure there's a little bit of slack in there, even, even though the first time you want to set it up pretty tight because it's going to loosen up quickly. Tighten that up. And now, keep everything clear. Brake on, power on. So in about a second, it's up to full speed. And that's what I like about this saw. Very quick, you can cut through those smaller limbs very quickly, let off and that chain brake or that electronic brake is going to engage and stop that saw pretty quickly. And then obviously with that on, you're gonna get no movement with that chain brake on. It's a really cool unit. That's gonna run you about $239 for the bare tool for the kit with the four amp hour battery and the charger. It's going to run $319 and you get that three year warranty with the saw. And then finally here, we have the Makita ADLM812 and it's the Outdoor Adventure 18 volt LXT LED flashlight spotlight. So you see you get a lot of rotation here out of this unit so it can point straight up if you want it to straightforward if you want it to and index in uh, three other locations 
as well. You even get an area where you can hang this if you need to or fold that out of the way. You also have a lanyard here on the back side where you can hook to the lanyard that comes with it. And then you even get a hanging hook with that lanyard. So we get three different modes. We have a power button right here as a trigger. So use your trigger to turn it on and then your mode button down here at the bottom to select between the different modes. Nice rubberized coating around all the edges. Very ergonomic handle, so easy to carry. We also have a, looks like a lanyard hook right there as well. So we have it right here as well as down here. If we hold the mode button down, we can also go into the strobe effect. Sorry about that, driving some people crazy, I'm sure. I can't stand that. But we get four different modes. So we get a 600 lumens in spotlight mode, 1,000 lumens in flood mode, and 1,250 lumens in the spot flood mode, where basically we're turning on both the flood and the spot. And you're getting over 700 yards in the spot and spot flood mode. And again, we said the 90 degree pivoting head on here as well. Uh, a five amp hour battery will run this for up to seven hours. And we also get dust and water resistance for operation in any of our harsh environments. Now price on this is $119 for the bear tool. And again, a three year warranty. And last up, is the 18 volt LXT LED area floodlight. Now this light here comes with the base. Obviously we can swivel this more than 180 degrees where we want it. And we have a cord wrap right here because not only will this run on an LXT 18 volt battery and stay sealed in the compartment. But also if we have 120 volts nearby, we can plug this in and now in perpetuity have all the light we want by plugging that in a standard outlet or an extension cord. Convenient handle that folds away as well. And then a power button as well as a mode or brightness button as well. We get three modes at 3,000 lumens on high, 1,500 lumens on medium, and 750 lumens on low with up to 2.7 hours with a five amp hour battery, and that's on high, and up to 11 hours of continuous illumination on a five amp hour battery with it on low. And it's IP65, for water and dust resistance to make sure that we're not getting in any water intrusion in the electronics or in the battery. As you can see on this compartment here, we have a seal all the way around it, keeping things nice and dry inside that compartment as well as staying clean. Price on this is $199 and you get a three year warranty. So thanks again to Acme Tools for sending all these great Makita tools and sponsoring this video. We'll have a link in the description for each of these tools if you so choose to buy them. And I'm telling you, some of them are really cool. And listen, I kind of dig the, uh, the olive drab. It's definitely a different take on your typical Makita blue, green, teal, whatever you want to call it. So check out each one of these. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button? And if you hated our video, then let us know in the comments why. Have a great day. Keep smiling.